Hey guys, welcome to Trigger Happy. I'm Instructor Will, and today I want to go over how to draw your firearm from an outside the waistband or external holster. I am in my basement tonight, uh, surrounded by concrete and stone walls, so I consider this to be a safe area to operate a handgun. However, that being said, we are just going to do a quick safety check. <clears throat> Magazine is empty, and the chamber is as well. So, so there are four steps that we're going to follow when we draw our firearm from a holster. Uh, we're going to follow the same basic uh, process if we're using a concealed or inside the waistband holster, but this is most easiest to perform with uh, the outside the waistband holster. So, our first step is going to be to take our palm and jam it down on the grip, just like this, right? At the same time, we're taking our uh, support hand or non-shooting hand and we're put, placing it firmly against our chest. Now there are a couple reasons for this. In most cases where a firearm is discharged against a threat, that threat is uh, right there immediately in the vicinity of the victim. And at this point, you're pushing that threat away with your uh, support hand, right? Get back, get back, get back before reaching for your firearm. Now, if I were to just grab my firearm and pull it out to shoot, my support hand is still in the way, and I do risk shooting my, my own hand. Uh, so that's one reason why we want to bring it in tight when we're at, in this position. The other reason why we bring our hand in uh, is because if it's out when I go to draw my firearm, that it gives the threat an opportunity to grab my arm and control my body. Uh, so once we have pushed that guy away, we are going to bring our hand in and jam our uh, shooting hand down against the grip. Get, get a nice positive grip and really jam it in there. Uh, we want to be mindful of where our trigger finger is because when we pull it out, we don't want it to hit the trigger and discharge the firearm. So we do want to keep it uh, up along where the frame is, and this is something you're just going to have to practice at home to get it down right. Some holsters do have a little guide on the holster to help push your finger out of the way as you pull it up, but not all of them do. So we've got one, and then our second step is actually pulling the firearm out, just straight up out of the holster. Step three is actually rotating the firearm, and at this position we can actually start firing immediately. So we've got one, two, bang, 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 right? Um, but as a sort of between step three and four, we can take our support hand and actually put it against uh, the, uh, the grip of the firearm, getting us, giving us a nice firm two-handed grip, and we can also fire again nice and close. Uh, that slide still isn't going to hit your chest if you're holding it properly, but even if it does, uh, you'll still at least get one shot off, right? So from the third step, we can engage in the fourth, which is actually pushing out and directly engage the threat using sights if necessary. So, let's see that uh, all in one go. We've got one, two, three, four. Bang, bang, bang. From the fourth position, if you want to issue a verbal command, this is the time to do it. And this is also where you're going to be assessing whether you're going to take the shot or not. Although, if you're in this position, you're probably ready to take that shot. Once we have taken the shot, we're going to come back to this position. This is our, this is our ready position. Uh, we can pivot if we need to, and we can still engage again with that gun in tight. And what we want to do after taking the shot is to scan the area around us to ensure that there aren't any other threats. So we've gone bang, 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 we bring it back in, and we want to turn. Make sure you're looking beyond your shoulder, and we turn back this way, and we're scanning that area. And the reason is uh, for that is because when you're in a high adrenaline situation, you, you get tunnel vision and you lose your periphery. So we actually want to turn our entire body. We're keeping our head pretty much uh, everything in line in the spine, and we're just turning everything from the hips, and we're scanning the area, making sure there aren't any other threats. This is something that you should practice at home. This is a little bit difficult on the range because you are uh, pointing that gun towards other people on the line. Uh, in that case, just turn your body, keep your gun pointed this way, and you can scan, but if possible, if you're the only one on the range and it's safe to do so, turn with the gun. And the reason you want to turn with the gun is because if we do turn this way and we see another threat who's attacking us there, we're immediately ready to uh, point and shoot, right? So, we've gone bang, 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 we come in, we scan, 
And then again, we're putting our hand on our chest, getting it out of the way, and reholstering the firearm. Just like that. Okay, I hope that was helpful, guys. Take care, and God bless.